Hey guys, last week we went to strawberry picking and we got a bunch of strawberries so I decided to make something special with them. Today I'm going to make fluffy and moist chiffon strawberry cream cake. I think you're going to love it just like we did. It's so delicious. So let's get started. As a prep, set cake liners in baking pans and prepare gently simmering hot water. We're gonna use it to bake the cake later. And sift cake flour. You can also sift right before you use. First, separate eggs. Make sure that all of your tools, ingredients, and even your hands are very clean with no oil, liquids, or dirt because they prevent egg white from whipping really, really well. And set that aside, we are going to make the meringue at the very end. Now in yolks, add granulated sugar and salt and mix well until the color gets more pale. It looks more pale because it contains more air inside. Now add milk, oil, and vanilla extract and mix until it looks even. And add the sifted cake flour and mix really well until it looks very smooth and you don't see any lumps of flour because we do not want them in our finished sponge cake. And that's it. Now let's make the meringue. Once it looks very bubbly like this, add all the sugar. I usually divide it into like a two times, but the sugar is not that much compared to the amount of egg white. So today I'm adding all of them at this stage. And whip it until the tip curls up when you lift up your whisk. It is very fluffy, but not too stiff. And right after it's made, add about half of the meringue and start folding. While the condition of the meringue is still the best. And stop folding when about 50% is branded. And again, immediately add the last of the meringue and continue folding until this time about 75% is branded. The meringue starts separating as it sits. So the key is to start working on the yolk mixture first and work on the meringue next and use it right after. And here I switch to a spatula and fold until it's branded evenly. Try not to overmix, stop right after it's even. And swirl with the toothpick to eliminate some bigger air bubbles. And also toss sometimes for the same reason. And bake them right after. Today we are baking them with a water bath. Be careful so that the water is not going to go in the pan. And try not to open the oven before it sets so that the temperature does not go down quickly. To check if it's done, touch the center and see if it bounces back very gently or insert a toothpick and see if it comes off clean. Chiffon cake tends to deflate after it cools down, especially with round pans. After they're out from the oven, they deflate this much. It might disappoint you at the moment, but don't worry, you'll feel that the sponge is very fluffy and moist after it cools down. One thing that's very important when you bake chiffon cake is the type of pan you use. Do not use non-stick pan. As you can see, the cake slide on a lot more after it's taken out from the oven. So as with parchment paper, so use regular stick pan. You can also bake the chiffon cake without a water bath, but the cake sinks a little bit more around the center. It just doesn't look so flat. With water bath, the heat gets delivered a little bit more evenly and your cake looks more even. But chiffon cake without a water bath still tastes great. To 
day I cut into big pieces and remove excess moistures in advance. To make strawberry jam, heat strawberries, sugar and lemon juice at medium heat over mixing constantly and remove forms on the way and continue heating and make thick jam. Watch this video to see how to make it more in detail. It's important to use thick jam so that it's not going to leak when you frost. To make the frosting, whip heavy cream and granulated sugar together until it reaches to soft peak. It should be fluffy but has the nice softness. This is for the final coat. And for crumb coat, whip only about half of them like this to make it stiffer because as a crumb coat, you want a nice firmness to sustain the whole body. And as an option, prepare ice water, place the ball of whipped cream on top of it so that it stays much cooler and it'll be easier for you to frost, especially if your room is not cool enough. If you have an option, walk on it under nice and cold temperature. Do not spread the jam near the edge just to make sure that it's not gonna come out from the side. The jam does the nice job as glue so that the strawberries are not moving around. Fill as much strawberries as possible. Drop a few big scoops of whipped cream on top. Push and fill the gaps between the strawberries and smooth out and flatten the surface. And coat the side and seal the filling. And place the second layer on top, facing down the camerized side. Check 360 degree and make sure it's standing straight. And finish the crumb coat by spreading the cream thinly and lock on any crumb. Do not use soft whipped cream for crumb coat because the cake might start leaning over. And going back to the whipped cream, mix the rest of it really well and see how thick it is. And whip more if you need to. I like this thickness. And finish the final coat by spreading the whipped cream on top and the side. But this time it's much thicker than crumb coat. If you want to learn how to frost a cake a lot more in detail, watch this video. The tip applies for whipped cream like today or buttercream. Today I decided to add some textures, frost any way you like and have fun. Warm up your knife with hot water or torch to cut it very clean. The sponge is so soft and moist and with the fluffy whipped cream, fresh fruits and jam, it just tastes incredible. I hope you're gonna try it out and let me know how you enjoyed it with your family and friends. Store in the fridge for up to four to five days, but enjoy it sooner within that day or the next day for the best taste. And when you store the sliced cake, attach plastic wrap directly to the cut surface so that it's not gonna get dried. Lastly, if you want to try a different type of sponge, watch this video. Compared to the chiffon cake, the texture is lighter, a little bit fluffier and more gentle. And this sponge is more springy and a little bit more moist. So try both and see which one you like better. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.
Woo! <laughs>